Hi, welcome back to the HTML programs video series. Today we are going to see program number four. So let's start with this program. So very simple program it is. Write a HTML program to create a form to accept patient's name, his mobile number, and date of birth. Only three fields are to be shown in the form, and it is given that. Keep all fields compulsory. यानी form submit के दौरान सभी fields में data entry होगा कि नहीं ये certain करना है हमें. So let's start with the solution for this. I'll be starting with Notepad plus plus. So begin with your doc type declaration tag that is. then your html root element then comes your head section then your body section provide one title to your web page so the question is all about patient's name and his mobile number and we will give a title of one hospital and we'll give a heading in the body section h1 say patient information let's save this file then we'll continue so humne ise save karte hai ise desktop pe practice folder ke andar and type pe aapko likhna hai hypertext markup language this is html form number 4 Okay, so it will be saved as HTML form dot HTML. Extension will be appended automatically. So, ये आपका form code is about to get ready. So, to make a form, form tag is used. Provide one form name. Then close the form. Now we'll create the fields which are given in the question. So, सबसे पहले आता है पाई पेशेंट का नाम तो यहाँ पे एक लेबल देंगे हम पेशेंट नेम देन पुट वन कोलन एंड मेक द टेक्स्ट बॉक्स फॉर इट एंड प्रोवाइड अ नेम ऑल्सो so again we'll say patient dash name so i'll put it one line down so that it is clearly visible to all so input type equal to text name equal to patient name now size and all other options will not enter it's not mentioned there also then we'll give two line space here next point is his mobile number and next is date of birth okay so we'll give mobile number as the label and we we'll provide the input type equal to number here the name is equal to mobile number and here we'll put minimum value so mobile number normally starts with 5000 or 7000 sorry 7 10 digits okay so we'll put this value 7 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so we'll keep this minimum value or you, if you don't want just keep the minimum value as 1 Okay, instead I'll keep it one only. Now to verify whether the user is entering proper mobile number, we can use the register register expressions regular sorry regular expressions using pattern attribute. So next field is date of birth. Here we'll say input. Type equal to date, 
and name equal to to we will give a short name for date of birth so we have completed mobile number and date of birth now next is keep all fields compulsory so submit pe sare fields compulsory rehne ke liye hame sabse pehle submit button banate hain तो सारे फील्ड्स को कंपलसरी करने के लिए आपको रिक्वायर्ड नाम का एट्रीब्यूट लिखना है एट द एंड इन एवरी फील्ड डेफिनेशन ओके तो ये देखो रिक्वायर्ड यहाँ पे भी लिखा मैंने एंड आई आल्सो राइट इट हियर देन अंडर डेट ऑफ बर्थ आल्सो ओके तो आपको सभी जगह रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायर्ड लिखना है तीन जगहों पर तीनों इनपुट डेफिनेशन के, के टैग के अंदर सो so, The question is ready. Let's check the output. <coughs> so our form is ready. Let's check whether this sub uh, required is working or not. When I click submit button, see it is telling. Please fill out this field. Okay. Then we are entering the date of birth. And click submit. Okay. The form gets submitted, but we have not provided any action attribute. So you can see it is. got attached to the url so we can provide one action attribute and on my website i have created one web page that will accept the form data that is exa.in slash response dot php so this uh, you can also put in your any form this response.php contains one script that will accept the data and display it back on the web page okay so we'll put this action attribute now again we refresh the form form is refresh and again we enter the same information Here we click submit button. The form will get submitted to website exa.in. Under that response.php file will work and collect the data and will give a reply. So this is what reply you got. So whatever data input sorry whatever input fields we have uh, created and we have given their names. So those name and the value pairs will go to this exa.in. Okay. so the method of sending the data here is get method by default the method is get so you can see in the address bar the name and uh, value pairs are appended in the url of exa.in response.php so here it is if you keep the method as post jaise yahan pe agar main method post dalta hu तो जो डेटा सेंट होगा वो एच टी टी पी हेडर्स थ्रू जाएगा तो यू आर एल में आपको ये डेटा नहीं दिखेगा तो अगेन लेट्स रीलोड द फॉर्म वी सेव दिस फर्स्ट यूजिंग मेथड फर्स्ट मेथड पोस्ट नो अगेन आई विल एंटर द सेम डेटा now click submit the form will get processed by response.php file and you got the reply now here you can check the address bar now you cannot see those data items appended in the url 
okay so that's the difference between method equal to post and method equal to get get is the default method but it is not secured because whatever data you send through the form will be visible in the url whereas post method may ye data http headers through chala jata hai yani jo communication between the server and the browser takes place uske through hi chala jayega okay to ye hai method post aur ye hai hamara action attribute action attribute will always contain the script file that is going to collect your form and further process it so this is our final form is ready you can take a screenshot of this form and you can try at your end and also take the screenshot of the form that we have created so this is the form output thank you very much see you in the next video